Hello everyone, and today we're going to be doing a one-on-one -on -one between me, James Given, and one of our devs, Sam Mullen. Hello. So, Sam, what do you do on the dev team? Uh, I'm a development manager on the Warhammer development team. So what we're going to do today is we're going to find out how you match up against us mm -hmm. on the battlefield of uh, Total Warhammer. So, you've taken... A very curious empire army. Do you want to do you want to run us through what your strategy here and what, what you took and why? Yeah, I mean, I think I took quite a all rounder empire army. Um, I've got a solid front line of some swordsmen, some spearmen on the flank. Uh, I think I've got one unit of great swords held in the back along with spearmen. Uh, a couple units of crossbows. Um, that's kind of the main bulk of my army. Uh, I've got one unit of cannons up at the front there. Some of these outriders and uh, right guard over in the forest, which are currently engaged, engaging with your uh, <laughs> straight did you, away. Did you Vanguard deploy it as straight I did. on top of my guys as well? I did. Um, I fortunately had my right uh, Empire Knights, I think, um, close by, so I was able to get them in to support my outriders. Um, but I think you got away and probably actually did more damage to me than I did to you. I wanted you to keep chasing here. Mm. Do you know why? Because you had lots more stuff. <laughs> but yeah. you turned back like just yeah. Here, and I was very frustrated at this point because I was just like, ah, oh, come on. Well, I knew that kept wolves moving. are faster than horses, so I, I knew I wasn't going to catch up, especially with them being heavy cavalry. So yeah. I thought it was safer just to turn back around. That and my outriders had already taken quite a lot of damage. Yeah, surprisingly so. Mm, um, I was surprised by that. So my army, as you can see, going for for the orcs as I did, mm -hmm. um, very much a rush army. Um, yeah. Savage Orcs on my flanks, getting hit by artillery there, from your lovely position cannon mm. up there. Uh, gone for Orc Boys in the front line, mm -hmm. and uh, my legendary lord somewhere. There he is, I think. He's getting shot at by your artillery, so I had to start moving Yeah, I, I took some pot shots with the cannons, see if I got lucky, but they don't quite have the accuracy I was hoping for. Also, if you, if you like, up on this hill is quite a good position for mm -hmm. artillery. Until you get to about here, and then yeah. you completely you lose the arc. Your yeah. This is where I thought I was going to have the greatest success because your army you, you flank, sit yeah. up on that hill. So I always take the um, the uh, the goblin uh, wolf riders mainly just to harass. Mm -hmm. Always keep you a bit off balance, and I thought I was doing that just here because you started to. Um, move I did. Your flanks yeah, in yeah. I started moving over to that flank because I saw you doing that, and I was like, all right, I'm going to set up to to deal with that. Um, but I think right as I was in the middle of moving my guys across, I saw your uh, orc boar boys on the right and realized they were a bit more of a threat. So I repositioned more over to the right. I think it was around so here. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm always a bit worried. First of all, I don't know how much you can see sometimes. So I'm always trying mm. as best I can to, to keep a bit of surprises here. Yeah. Um, because of that artillery, I thought I had to start moving forward. Mm -hmm. And really, now looking back at this, I could have probably, probably uh, could hung have. back a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, I took those cannons, because I saw you going greenskins, and I was expecting an Arachnorok or a giant. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, some cannons, keep them back, deal damage from afar. But you took no monstrous infantry at all, so didn't really get the usage out of them that I'd hoped for. I, I, I don't need monstrous creatures no? to, to beat yourself. No? That's fine. Okay, but, okay. Um, Obviously, the one unit I'm terrified of is mm. the uh, Griffin Knights. Um, yeah, Griffin again, Knights. Just I, so took, scary. I took the Halberds again, thinking Giant, Arachnorot, that's where they excel. So mm -hmm. I didn't get the usage out of them that I wanted, but I think they still paid off in that they were quite a big focus for your attention a lot of the time. Well, they have to be. They, they, they take on quite a lot of uh, punishment. So, so you go for a, one of your spells straight off the bat? Same with me as well. Yeah, yeah. You go for Vortex spells, monster. yeah. I think you got a bit of a better hit on my greatswords there. I think I whiffed it a bit. Um, but, I mean, it, it was either that or the bombards, but the bombards take time. I thought you'd see that. But, yeah, I spotted your Azag there, uh, away from the rest of the force, and thought, yeah, Carl Franz would take that. Oh, and while this is happening, I'm starting to wrap around flanks. Uh, obviously, this is mm. uh, something that's really, really important to try and tie down the uh, the demigriffs as quick as possible because mm. this unit is so, so powerful. So, Even so with much, uh, yeah. the halberds, they're still very, very deadly. Yeah. And they will tie down like a good chunk of all my cavalry. Yeah, I, th I think they did a good job holding up like two of your ball boys over there. But... Yeah. Well, you see, you've, you've, uh, you've broke my legendary lord. Yeah, so that was a mixture of, um, I think, Carl Franz doing some work, as well as uh, my witch hunter, Carson Accuse. Yeah, you got a, if you've got Azag on his own like that, without him being on his wyvern, then 
-hmm. He's going to take a lot of damage. Don't so look after him. Looks like on this flank is uh, Hongdan Spacebar. I just get a good look. You can see you're mm. completely surrounded on your left yeah, flank. Yeah, yeah, you totally took the left flank. Um, and the right flank's holding? Two my right flank was okay. Um, yeah, I think I, I brought those guys back in on the back of your Savage Orcs there, so I, I kind of oh, held yeah, the right yeah. flank. They, they were chasing after my uh, Goblin Riders like the whole, mm. whole time, and they came back and like smashed right on the yeah. side. I, complete, I thought they were gone. I, I thought they were so far away from the battlefield, they wouldn't be really coming back. Mm. Now, this I is think the... I did really well with these crossbows here on the right as well. Dealing, up. You, you kind of just left them completely unchecked, despite having your ball boys nearby. Did a lot of damage to your Savage Orcs. Oh, uh, it, it, there's a lot going on in this battle. Mm. Uh, when you take an orc army the size of this, uh, you're dealing with a lot of uh, lot of units. Also, um, my big issue right now is my my Lendry Lord is <laughs> He's not slightly doing so good. recovered. I need my Lendry Lord to stay alive because the morale for orcs is yeah, leadership is just so brutal. So you need to always try and either counter it by killing off your opposing, or uh, keep yours alive and I'm trying yeah. the best I can at this point. Yeah, see, I knew I'd pushed away your you your you lord go. at this Went point. Yeah, yeah, you, you saw it eventually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so I pushed. I just threw Carl into that left flank, knowing that he'd do a lot. But it, it was a risky move because you kind of bog him down, and then he couldn't really get out. And I think I don't know if he died from this in the end, but he he took a lot with him at least. He's. Uh, this is at the point with my my lord down. I can already see that. Um, Morale-wise and, and unit-wise, I'm losing on the power mm. bar. So I, this is my Hail Mary at this point to try and try and take him out. But uh, he is a strong unit. You mm. can see the fight is pretty spread out. I mean, Orcs being well, how they are, especially without their leader, they, they break, they come back, yeah. they break, they come back. So there's yeah. always a bit of give and take in the combat. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep as many near that central line, trying to get them near to Carl if I can. But There's a unit I did not see. My great source, beginning. yeah. And this is a unit I feel that might swing the balance. Mm. Because they are so powerful. Yeah. I tried to cast my um, Celestial Wizard uh, Augment. It's got a nice, I think it's melee attack and melee defense uh, Augment that you can cast on them. And I think that helped them stay alive quite a lot there, dealing with the Savage Orcs. Yeah, I'm constantly just trying to get this charge in. And mm. Just doing what I can, really, to take down Carl Franz. But he's such a difficult... Mm. Uh, He's easily one of the hardest legendary lords to yeah. either tie down or even He's kill. a big investment. I mean, with the, with the demigriff and everything, he's, he's about 2,200 gold, something like that. He's, uh, I hope he makes a difference. He's trying case. to escape here as he's getting surrounded. He's, he mm. has broken. He's wavering now, so. yeah, yeah. Just see that wave of orcs just trying to bring him down. I don't know if we'll get him, though. But he is low, and he is at this point. So we're trying to disengage, so he's trying to get a bit mm. of away from combat. Trying to get so away. You can see orcs are everywhere though. He's pushing his way through. He's just knocking them out of the way. Yeah, Death Claw waits for no one. Oh, and then the knights come in on the side to give yeah. Carl Franz a chance to escape. He's going to do it. Yeah, he gets away. And he's away. Gets away. Well, it's still not over. There's a lot of orcs on the field still. No, I'm basically relying a lot on my Empire Knights and my Great Swords at this point. Um, I think I've got my Witch Hunter trying to chase down your uh, Azag as well. If I but, right, oh yeah, your ball was holding, that was it. I managed to bring these uh, spears up to, to save him. You took a lot of spears, which mm. are obviously a really weak unit, but against yeah. Orcs where you, you're always going to be outnumbered, did you feel that they were just going to be able to be a meat shield? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're cheap. They're, they're a good unit to bolster your ranks and just provide volume to your army in a way. Like, they, they make up a lot of space on the battlefield, and they'll hold, they'll do some damage, but um, I think my army composition was totally about kind of those guys just holding and using the big units, the Demigriff, the Karl Franz, the Great Swords, to actually do the damage. I'm talking of uh, Karl Franz. Yeah, I just keep throwing him back in there. Well, that's the great thing about flying units in yeah. Total Warhammer. You can constantly just keep mm. throwing them back into the combat. Yeah. And in places that previously would just be able to get blocked by other units. I think that shock there from him charging in may be what actually breaks the camel's back. Well, with great swords and Karl Franz charging down, the orcs mm. are on the retreat. You can just see there's not much you can do when the <laughs> Karl Franz like that. No. And I think that's going to be there. So, I think uh, so. Good game. Well done. Good game, James. I. Uh, I thought I was going to take this one. I thought you were at quite a few points, to be honest. But unfortunately, no. it wasn't quite as good as the dev team on this one. wasn't so. to be. All right. Well, thank you very much, guys, and hopefully we'll have some more battles coming very soon. Take care.